Hey guys, welcome back to the Mountain Race Series. We're here at Dover, race number three of the chase. For the running at the AAA 400, and a lot of guys are looking for good finishes in the chase. Been a struggle for a lot of guys. Dirk Walker emerged as our new point leader after last week's race. And he's going to try to cushion his point lead. But, uh, it should be a good race. Our, I don't know where our first chaser is starting. Uh, look at Matthew Rodriguez, he's starting, uh, see, 31st, I believe, is the first back he's starting, but, uh, our post here today is Christian Baker in the 38, and the opposite him is last week's winner, Dougie Shears, row two has our highest qualifying chase driver, Ralph Green in third, season one champion, Sean Wallace starts fourth. He loved the outside, I can tell. Not. <laughs> uh, Jacob Embry, another chaser, starts fifth. Cowell, sixth. Leo Rogers, seventh. Peter Paluzzi, eighth. Cam Hawes and Jake Rogers are ninth and tenth. A couple more chasers. And you see Josh Harris and Andre Castro. But also in this race, I'm going to update the standings right here with this. But for now, I'm not because it's really in the way. So I don't really don't worry about it. I might not even do it. But the pace car is already off. As Christian Baker and Dougie Shears, the Chevy front row. We'll lead the field to the green flag and the start of the AAA 400. We're racing at Dover, and Christian Baker gets a great start on Dougie Shears, who wisely is going to go to the inside. Oh, he tried to get the inside. Ralph Green didn't want him to get down there. He didn't let him. Christian Baker's going to pull out a little bit. He's still looking for his first ever win that, in this series. The three wide back there, Michael Codd, trying to make something happen in the back. And oh. a clean start so far. Oh, Dougie Shears. Oh, Dougie Shears. Oh, we, uh oh, we right back up in the traffic. I see about two or three good chase drivers in there. Oh, and Peter Blizzard on the wall. Andre Castro, Jake Rogers, Cody Birmingham's around. Matthew Rodriguez, John Dawson, Don Poti, Connor Breeden, James Falls, Zohar Munn. Connor Breeden just got turned over by Dougie Shears. And then, like, three cars are trying to flip Connor Breeden over. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> Looks like they all got mad at Connor Breen. They're like, let's flip him over, shall we, guys? Um, Connor Breen's not going to be happy with. Well, you can almost count four. Matthew Rodriguez, Spencer Perrett, Ken Johnson, and Dougie Shears. Let's just flip that damn 14 over, shall we? I don't know. I saw it happen at the very front of the field. Oh, James Qualls got back there hit by James McLeod. I saw that. I thought it was going to be clean. I think. Did he? Oh, Dougie Shears hit the wall. Sean Wallace got into him. Cam Hawes gets, oh, he almost got away from Josh Harris, Cam Hawes. Oh, Aaron Reed avoided. Dylan Pochi got around. Jesse Kaplan got some damage. James Cloud, Jason Carmichael go up high. Jacob Rodriguez, Trent Dunham. Zorn runs around. Who else? Dylan Pochi. And then they, there's the flipping over, Connor Breeden. Don't know really what that was about. And Christian Baker, them are in the wall trying to avoid it. All the mess. Everybody goes to hot side. Ooh, almost. Ralph Green trying to go away from Leo Rogers. Oh, whoa. I have no words for what's just going on in the series. It's like every race, everybody's just wrecking like crazy. I'm really starting to consider cautions. This is getting out of hand. I don't even know, unless you guys still like it, but I mean, it's been wreck fest. Oh, Chase says, I even touched nothing. Wow. Uh, I think I figured out where it started. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this happened afterwards. This is right after this wreck. Dylan Poteen and Brian Dawson got together. So this wreck continued on afterward. Dylan Poteen and his teammate. Trying to get away from He can't even get turned around. Oh! Heather Todd up here wrecked with Michael Dawson, so I guess it continued on. Ooh. Heather Todd turned Michael Dawson right in the wall. Kind of like reminiscence to Jeff Burton and Jeff Gordon last year at Texas. Oh, James McCloud. He's going to get some damage. Josh Harris avoids in the pile up. He, Cam Hawes, Cody Birmingham, Ricky Durgeon. And they're just going to pile up here. Ken Johnson, Dougie Shear, the leader, and basically all the way Spencer Perrett's flipping in the air. John Wall stuff that down, Calvin Wells, Taylor Orndorff, Kate Stewart, Red Bell just got a big piece of it. Alexander Dawson, Michael Causey, 
But then again, it says Dover. Andre Castro stopped. Jack Richards. Derek Walker. Jamie Muckley. Peter Beluzzi. Jesse Kaplan. The whole freaking field. Wow. I wish we could get a race going without everybody wrecking. I uh, don't know what's going on. It's really making the chase crazy. I don't even know who the leader is. I quite honestly don't even know who the leader is right now. It says the three car is the leader. Austin Hartman. Wherever you are, Austin Hartman, I will find you. There you are. Look at the line of cars going to pit road. It's going to be done. Austin Hartman might just get wrecked right there. Don't even know who's in second place. The whole field's on pit road. We don't even have. What in the world? Uh, Cam Hawes has a really ba banged up car and he's in sixth place. There's Armand in seventh. There's second place, Jace Carmichael. Josh Harris is third. Michael Cosi is in fourth. He's going to lose it. Here comes Cody Birmingham. Going to take the fourth spot. There's not much battles going on. Heather Todd's coming back on the track. She's going to gain a bunch of spots just being on the track. James McLeod's coming out to gain some points. Alexander Dawson's coming back out. Come Jacob Rodriguez. I don't know who else. Anybody else come back out? Doesn't look like it. Looks like everybody else just dropped out of the race. Dougie Shears, Sean Wallace. Oh, nope, not anymore. Taylor Orndorff, both of them disappeared. There's Aaron Reed, he's gone. Christian Baker, a pulser, is gone. Leo Rogers, the only car on pit road. I don't think he's coming back. He might. Heather Todd just gained eight spots on that one lap. She came back out from 26 to 18. Looks like Austin Hoffman might run away with this, this win right here. I was going to Dawson, but he's in the hoodies in 8th place. James McLeod's going to get a bunch of spots too. He just jumped to 10th place from 19th. Heather Todd up to 9th. She gained another handful of spots. She's actually battling Zohar, I think. No, she can't be. Nope. Alright, well. We, uh, we barely can even do our top 10 rundown on the field. Leo Rogers dropped out of the race, too, so. Um. Only 11 cars are on the f track. Uh, Chase Driver is updating. I'm going to show this since we don't have much of a field. I'm going to go ahead and show this as Austin Hartman continues to lead. But, uh. Look at where you are right now. I don't even know. I have no words to explain. This is Dover, but I don't even know. Our lowest finishing chaser we're going to be today is Matthew Rodriguez. He's going to finish 36. Dylan Pochi, 34th. Ooh, Michael Cosi and Alton Hartman about got together. Uh, let's see. Andre Castro, 29th. Jake Rogers, 26th. Uh, Ralph Green 21st, Taylor Orndorff 18th, Jacob Embry 13th, Derek Walker 12th, and then the other guy that are on the on the track still. Ah, I thought my camera's gonna fall over on me. We do a top 10 rundown. Austin Hartman is your leader. Chase Carmichael is second. Cody Birmingham is third. Josh Harris fourth. M Michael Cosby fifth. Cam Hall is sixth. Zohar Munn in 7th, Alexander Dawson 8th, uh, Heather Todd 9th, and I believe, yeah, James McLeod is 10th, and then Cam Hawes, or Jacob Rodriguez is 11th. Man, I just, I don't know. I'm still kind of amazed how breakfast that became. Just turn 2, that happens every time. Once a wreck happens at Dover, they just pile up. I don't know. I didn't expect the whole entire field to just pile up. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of chasers didn't get a good run again today. I don't know. How many chasers we actually have still on the track? Cam Hall, there's one. Cody Birmingham, Josh Harris, there's two, three. James McLeod is four. That's it. We only have four. The other eight are out of service. I don't know if we have any battles going on. Third and fourth are still going at it. Uh... No, there's not really other, any other battles going on. This is the closest battle we got right now. It's for uh, third place, Cody Birmingham and Josh Harris. Cody came in here 
fourth in the point standing. He's only 16 points behind Derek Walker. Derek Walker finished 12. He's going to finish 12. So Cody Birmingham, I don't think he's going to even pass him in the points. Unless he gets up to the lead. Josh Harris came in here. 11th in the points. He's going to get a big jump in the points. Uh, James McLeod came in here. Fourth. Or, wow. Cody Birmingham was fifth in the points. Not fourth. James McLeod is fourth. He can gain some. Austin Harmon looks like he got this race in the bag just because he was good enough to get around all the trouble and everything. And as long as he doesn't bounce off anybody, I think everybody's going to drive clean. I can't really imagine other cars on the track could be another wreck, but I've seen any, I've seen crazier things, so I think everybody's just trying to finish now. But you can't finish any lower than 11th, but still. Oh, and Josh Harris is bouncing off the wall. Cam Hall is coming up on him. Is that for position? No. Never mind. Give some shout outs to some guys. Don't hurt mine. Having a nice run in seven. And then we go up here. Heather Todd in ninth. Jace Carmichael in the second place run. Michael Crosby's in fifth. I don't know how many left down. Uh, Jacob Rodriguez having a solid 11th place run. Alexander Dawson's in eighth. But Alton Hartman running in the lead. Wanting to win this race. He's going to come and take the white flag. Austin Hartman. I guess you could say he's dominating this race. He survived all the wrecks and everything and emerged as the leader and had to look back. He had a huge lead. He had a nine, almost ten second lead on Jace Carmichael. And it looks like all he has to do is just drive smoothly around this last corner and he'll take the checkered flag and he looks like he will. Austin Harmon comes up the final corner and Austin Harmon is going to win the AAA 400 here at Dover. Second place is going to go to Jace Carmichael. So third is going to go to Cody Birmingham. Josh Harris looks like he's going to get fourth. Michael Cosby is going to get a fifth place finish, I believe, yep. Uh, sixth place goes to Cam Hawes. Seventh goes to Zohar Mudden. Eighth goes to Alexander Dawson. Ninth goes to Heather Tide. And tenth goes to James McLeod. And Jacob Rodriguez gets eleventh. And then the rest of the field already out. <laughs> Alright, well. That was interesting. Alright. Uh, race three is in the book. I'm still astonished by how much of that I see. That was a bad turn two. Here's the results. Congrats, Austin Hartman, on winning the race. Here's the rest of the results. I already said where everybody is. Just see where you are. It was a bad day for a lot of guys. I guess everybody's gonna look forward to just getting off these short tracks and get on a big track like Kansas. Should be a cleaner race, hopefully. Uh, Probably going to jinx that race, but uh, uh, I was kind of disappointing. But the race is a race, and Rex happened. Austin Hartman wins today's race. He is winner at Dover. Congrats to Austin. That was a good race, I guess. Yes, no. I know there's gonna be a lot of opinions about that. Uh, our next race will be at Kansas. It should be a good race. Hope to see you guys there, and like I said, congrats to Austin Harmon for winning the race, and the points probably will jumble once again, so I will see you guys for the next race.